for many the sound of erasers clapping and the sight of equations on the blackboard may conjure up childhood memories of math class. But for Dr. Alexander Anderson, this may be the cure for cancer. We're trying to use mathematical models to predict how a tumor grows and spreads in a patient. Dr. Anderson is a mathematical oncologist at Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida, the only cancer center in the world to house an entire mathematical department. You know, mathematics classically has a bad rap as being something that's not applicable to the real world. But the reality of it is that mathematics is the language of life. And life is exactly what's on the line when Dr. Anderson sets about solving the problem in front of him. The things that's really cool about mathematical models is that I can run many different treatment scenarios through a mathematical model without ever applying them to a patient. So it's really a way to um, kind of predict the future based on the current um, state of the patient. Dr. Anderson believes these models will ultimately produce better long-term outcomes for patients, but that doesn't necessarily mean eradicating the cancer completely. And our um, kind of classic idea of treating cancers was to find the magic bullet. But what we find, especially with metastatic disease, is that when we treat continuously with a drug, that that cancer will initially respond and then recur. Using the theory of evolution, Dr. Anderson and his team in Moffitt's Integrated Mathematical Oncology Department use math formulas to determine the best course of treatment that allows a patient to control the cancer and actually live with the disease. Basically by applying treatments in a smart way, which could mean switching them on and off, we can control that cancer much more like a chronic disease and so that leads to a situation of tumor control rather than eradication but it potentially gives us a much more longer term strategy for met metastatic disease. This form of adaptive therapy is tailored to each individual patient and is improving quality of life for those taking part in a clinical trial. We've been able to control those cancers in 11 patients now for almost two years. Since the patients are receiving a smaller dose of medication, Dr. Anderson says they have a higher quality of life and fewer medical costs. Just some of the benefits of controlling cancer, one equation at a time.